Hey everyone, Sergey here. I just wanted to quickly hop on here to kind of show you what I'm working on. And I'm actually working on updating this smart size tool. And I want to show you this new feature, the uh, multi-layer mode feature. And that's what I'm calling. But I just want to show you how well it works with uh, Smart Rect. So let me give you an example. So right now I have this composition right here. I have main control that everything's attached to. Then I have the image, which is right here. We have text control. Basically, all the text is attached to it, and uh, we have all of them in here individually. So nothing crazy here, but let's do this. Let's introduce a smart rack. So I'm going to uh, drop it into this control. So it's going to be parented to that. So let's go to smart rack real quick, and uh, I'm going to activate parent. And then we're going to put it in the top right or top left corner like this. So it brings it in there. Obviously, the size of it is small because the controls doesn't have a size at all so you can extend this if you want but let me kind of quickly show you okay so we have the shape i'm going to call this one smart rect and uh, i'm going to bring up the size x and y size so basically we can easily control it in here but here's what i want to do i want for this smart rect to be basically grabbing all of my stuff in here and resizing it to it and this is where the new smart size 2.0 comes in handy. And by the way, it's not out yet. It's probably going to be out next week. Uh, so I'm still testing a lot of stuff, but I just want to show you how it works. So the way it works, I'm going to go to multi-layer mode, meaning it's going to be, uh, we're going to be including multiple layers, the size of multiple layers. And then I'm going to go to multi-layer tab here and make sure that on width and height, it's going to take the sum of everything. And then we're going to tag them with underscore. So that's important. So now that I've activated this, I'm going to apply it to my controls layer here. Just run it like this. And by the way, before you do that too, make sure if you have animation, I usually just set it to, to where it grabs the size based on the middle of the layers. Something like that is good. So, and uh, that's basically it. It gives you the size, but obviously it says zero because we haven't put anything in there. So I'm going to lock this in so we can see the size. And now this is how we do it. So now I would just do this. I'm going to tag this one. I'm going to put underscore in front of my name. So that's what that tag is for. So as soon as I do that, notice it added to it. So then the same thing for the name here, just tag that one. You'll see it'll increase as well because it's adding all of that in. So the same for the title, subtitle. And that's basically it. So now I can just say the X size of the shape. I'm going to grab the width. And then for the Y size, I'm going to grab the height. And uh, there you go. As you can see, we can move it around. It doesn't matter what we bring in, even uh, like an image. So let's say we're going to bring in another image. And we're going to parent it to the controls. And here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to put it out here. And I'm going to tag it basically put underscore in front of it as you can see it's working like a charm so yeah you can have as many of them as you want you can bring another one if you want obviously it will calculate more if you have more but that's the idea of what i'm doing here and uh, i'm going to get rid of this for a second now the only problem is remember it's giving you the size based on your image so if you move this away like it doesn't work well with that so what I normally do to avoid the size, but still grab the position, you put double underscore or whatever tag you chose, right? So now if I pull both of these away, that one will be uh, just a position basically. So in other words, if I bring in a new shape layer, that's basically, well, let me kind of explain it this way. So if this image, if I drag it out here, if I scale it down, I have it set up to where when it becomes zero, it just completely avoids it, even the position, the scale. So unless, unless you do this, unless you put double underscore in it. So when you size it down, it will ignore it, but it will still keep the position. So as you can see, there you go. Let me undo that. So in other words, you can bring in a new shape layer, put double underscore and uh, make sure you tag it or parent it to the controls. And if I drag it, you can see it will still see it. But if I only had one, then it will assume it doesn't have size zero. So basically kind of doesn't work. Anyway, now the other thing is, what if you want to add margins? That's something else you might want to do. So I'm going to grab the position of the smart rect. And uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically declare a variable x. We'll tell it to be current value for right now. And uh, we'll do the same thing for y we're going to declare a new variable we're going to say value one and we're going to marry it all together so we'll say x and y obviously basically i split these two in the code so i can apply different code and so now here's what i'm going to do uh the 
controls layer has um, this add to width. So we can add to width as much pixels uh, as we want, but here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna say 100 on the X and then maybe like 60 on the Y. So I've added 160. So what I need to do for the position here, I'll just say, hey, let's grab the, uh, on the X, we're gonna grab the width and we're gonna take that value and we're going to divide it by negative two because we're gonna go in the opposite direction. And then if I do that, boom, it's gonna fix itself. So now when I add to it, basically it gives me exactly what I want. And I'll do the same thing for the Y. We'll just say, hey, we'll grab the add to height right here. We want the value and we're gonna divide it by negative two to go in the opposite direction. And there you go. So now when I adjust this, I can easily adjust the width and the height and I can also go to Smart Rect, and uh, in here I can set it to pixel value. I can do some rounded edges. So yeah, that's how easy it is. Now at this point, you can just move things around. You can bring in more text, like duplicate this one, put it under here. You can bring in more stuff. And yeah, so just wanna show you that I am working on some kind of solution to where you can do multiple layers. And at this point, you can animate uh, like Smart Rect here. You can animate the width here right you can apply um, set mat so you can go here and do set mat and apply it to here and say hey grab the mat from the smart rect right here and i'll just copy this paste it to all the other text and so now i can animate this and it will mask things out okay so yeah that's it let me know what you think thanks <laughs>